Virginia Wall Grunert. It is a pleasure to be sitting here with you Thank in you. Off the Wall Theater here in Carnegie. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers and bottoms <laughs> up. What brought you to the theater? What brought you to acting in the, in the first place? I think it's the classic story of having been on stage for the first time in first grade and just loving people laughing and clapping, you know, the whole attention thing. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, you know, through high school, you're, you're the star of every show and everybody thinks you're great. And then you get to college, to the theater department, you find out that you don't know anything. Mm -hmm. And then you really start to learn. And that's when half the class drops out. Oh, because, yeah. you know. so are you native of Pittsburgh? No, Pennsylvania? I'm from New York. Where are you from? Okay, no, okay. I'm from New York City. I was born in New York City. Uh, I was raised in the suburbs in Jersey. And then after college, I moved, well, I moved to L.A. for a year. And then I moved back to Manhattan and lived there for 22 years before I, I came here. And I came here just to marry my husband, actually. Nothing artistic oh. brought me here. <laughs> so is Off the Wall Theater then a husband and wife operation? Oh, absolutely. Um, I was here six years. And I, I've always been writing things, short stories, um, satires, and things like that. But I had a, a play was in me, and it needed to come out. And it was the first play I ever wrote. And I just sat down in my home office and wrote it. And it's called Shaken and Stirred, ah. as a matter of fact. <laughs> Love it. It is. And uh, there's a lot of autobiographical stuff in there. And my husband said, we need to stage this somewhere. So instead of trying to find out how one submits a play for, you know, consideration, he went and found a space to build a theater. <laughs> That's the way to do it. In Washington. And uh, because my maiden name is Wall, he thought Off the Wall would be a great name That's for wonderful. It. And the rest is history. The Off the Wall Theater, as, as we know it, began in Washington, Pennsylvania. Yes. And you were in Washington for how many years? Five years. And uh, recently made the move to Carnegie, Pennsylvania. We, the move took place last summer. summer okay, this is very fresh. Very fresh. Um, actually, I think they started construction in July of last year and our first play opened in October. This space, however, gorgeous. Thank you. I think you've done an excellent job Thank here. It's, I, I've seen several shows here. It's, it's such a nice place to be very, as you said, very accessible from the city. You're here in 10, 15 minutes, yeah. you know? We designed it ourselves. And uh, we have an upstairs too, which we didn't touch because we have uh, a rehearsal room and we have a kitchen and we have an actor's lounge and we have a prop room and a costume room upstairs. It is so. the full package. It is, the full package. Shaken and stirred. <laughs> and that's important to mention too because this space can be rented for yes. performances, events, companies yes. and things. Well we wanted to, we want to support other artists no matter what, singers, dancers, what have you. And so many of them don't have their own home, mm -hmm. so this can be their home. And here they are, because this uh, would sort of be what, black box? Um, um, not quite theater in the round. It's not. But, it's what I call a modified thrust, which doesn't really exist. But I see where, 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 how you would say that, you know. Yeah. And there's not a bad seat in the house. There really isn't. This is true. This is very true. So. And so they are literally feet from the chaos. Yeah. It's feet intense from, here. Well, that's what I want. That's what we had in Washington. That's what I've always wanted is the intimacy, the proximity of the actor to the audience. Because that way you draw your people, your audience in, and they're really with you, hopefully. They're really with you instead of the proscenium that's, you know, 20 feet away. Uh, part of the mission uh, of Off the Wall Theater is truly to promote uh, the female artist. Is this it correct? It is. It is. We have recently added that to our mission statement. Um, there is a large disparity between male and female, um, the appreciation of male and female artists, it's worldwide, it really is. I mean, somebody did a survey a couple of years ago that said, I think it's 13% of all the plays that are being published and produced are by women, and that's a pitifully small number. Um, and it's not just playwrights, you know, other directors, actors, technicians. So what do you think is the next big creative project for you particularly? Do you have a play that's just dying to get out right now? Is there anything cooking? Is there anything on the stove? The next thing I would like to do is do a piece about uh, domestic violence. Yeah, it won't be a comedy, but but um, I would really love to write a ripper in comedy, but I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs>
And th- that's, I don't know how. That's interesting because you strike me as a very humorous person. You know, I'm having a blast here with you. So when when you've got the idea, you know, when you've got that inspiration to write, what 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 is your process, or does it come out kind of? It, polished. It, well, it not polished. It comes out in spurts, if mm-hmm. you will. I don't follow the rule where good writers say, sit down and write something every day. Every day. And I don't do that. Because if it's not here, it won't come out. We'd had plenty of comedies if that were the yeah. case, right? <laughs> As an actress, what do you feel your biggest challenges are? I think at this point in my career is finding the right role. Mm. Because I am... There are a lot of great plays written for 30, 40 year old women. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. There are a lot, but there are some. And I'm not that. And then there's wonderful roles for women in their 60s, and I'm not that either. So I'm like, do I play that part or that? Am I too old for this or am I too young for that? So it, that's actually tricky. It really is. You could write it. I could write it. You're yeah. absolutely right. I could write it. It's, you're in a position to solve all of these problems, you see, or, or challenges, I should that say. That is true. Or just grow older, which, of course, I will. But, you know, clearly there's a demographic there that's not being served with well-written roles. Well, that's true. That is true. So I guess I'll have to do it right myself. This is right. your calling right here out in the open. I mean, the, this was a moment we just had. <laughs> Well, there are artists and there are artists. Um, Which are you, an artist or an artist? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I heard it too. I heard it too. That's fantastic. (laughs) Do you want to know? No. Okay. Do you? I don't know. I, I think I want my funeral to be quite spectacular, oh. if, if, uh, if I may say so. Um, not to the exclusion of the guys. We love the guys. Um, the, oh gosh, I just realized there's probably not going to be any men in this either. Um. <laughs> That's it. We're no, done here. No.